Chalk the Hatcher High School has won the 5A state football championships, and they just did terrific. That's so for those of you just waking now, it's, uh, we, we, <laughs> right. boy, we got a story for you. We got a scoop for you, I tell you. Yeah, it was a tremendous year proving that if you win that district, that tough district, you are very capable of going all the way every year. And so it is. It was the third week of the high school football season three months ago. The Choctaw Indians had won their first two games, and they looked good doing it. There was a feeling that maybe something special was happening at Choctaw, so we went to Fort Walton Beach to find out all about it. And in that story we did last September, we found an optimistic coach, but a cautious one. We're pleased to get off on a great start, but we also uh, keep, thing, keep things in perspective uh, that this is a tough football league, and if we're not careful, we can finish two and eight. Well, they had the numbers right. The order was a little flaky, though. They finished eight and two, plus four more wins in the playoffs. And today, the Indians and their avid supporters celebrated the Indians' run to the state championship. We don't know if they celebrated it again or if they just never stopped, but they were there strutting down Racetrack Road, the Class 5A state champions, a team we once called a dark horse to win the district, but a dark horse that can run. And they won some games easily. They won some thrillers. They won some games with offense and special teams. And finally, with the state title at stake, they resorted once again to that great defensive unit that had carried them and been consistent pretty much all year long, as uh, we saw on... Uh, Yes, as we saw Saturday night, as Sarasota Riverview, Riverview had their hands full with the Choctaw defense. Matt Herkemp's uh, two field goals in the first half were enough to keep Choctaw within one. It was 7-6 to six at halftime. Then the defense slammed the door on Riverview, holding them to one field goal in the second half. And Jeff Peters looked over the defense and found nobody covering Brad Davis. So he threw him the ball for the game-winning touchdown. 13-10, state champions of the celebration. 